What up peeps, this is your boy iGuru back with a new video and uh, today I thought I'd bring you a mini review on the STRV M4257 This is the premium Swedish tank that's been out for a month and a half now and for $15 you get an excellent crew trainer which you can use in strongholds it earns a decent amount of credits and it's really good for pubs as well if you uh, play correctly I'm a big fan of the autoloader I love all kinds of autoloading tanks and uh, when this tank was uh, launched I knew I was gonna get it uh, regardless of whoever says whether they're good or not good I love autoloading tanks and if you Taking a look at my loadout, I'm actually having 50 APCR, I think 50-50 APCR and AP split between the two. And this is because um, I play this tank mostly in strongholds. I have, I don't know, seven, 800 games down in strongholds to train two sets of crews. And I fire um, exclusively AP rounds. But I do use APCR because in the random battles, you come across uh, tier 7s, tier 8s and uh, to be honest with you this is not a money maker for me in random battles I only make credits with it in the strongholds format so during random battles I'm not ashamed to fire a all the way APCR and once I run out of APCR that's when it automatically by default switches back to AP I make no apologies for it all I want to do is just uh, win and carry so um, normally in this case I would normally fire APCR but this is my in uh, this is my mindset by default I am firing APCR in randoms uh, this is just um, you know without me thinking I'm firing APCR because that's just the way I set up this tank and how I want to play this tank in randoms I think I've had about 40 battles in this game in randoms and my uh, win rate I think is about 63% with over 950 uh, XP uh, um, average XP I think so this tank is really good for me whether it be in randoms or in strongholds let's take a look at the specs of this tank this is an auto loading, uh, auto -loading Swedish tank as I mentioned, it is, a, it is a medium tank, a great crew trainer if you're playing in strongholds. It carries um, four rounds of ammunition per clip. It takes 15 seconds to reload that clip and it takes approximately two seconds to fire off each round. It has about average of 150 damage, so something like it does enough damage like a Cromwell or a Cromwell B. Now penetration on AP is 148 which is your fairly standard kind of medium penetration and if you're firing APCR it's 190 millimeters of penetration which is excellent for a tier 6 tank. However the aim time is kind of slow it's something like the Cromwell it's in the 2 second range and um, it takes quite a while for the uh, bloom to to become smaller so you really need to give it some time to completely aim before you fire your shots otherwise you're going to be uh, making a lot of missed shots I took a hit there from the SU-100 it was calculated I wish he missed but uh, I kind of expected it because I, I felt I had to uh, take out that very dangerous tank we have been behind throughout the game and uh, I knew that if I wanted to win this game it would be all up to me to carry I didn't even get upset I didn't even spam the chat or tell my teammates what to do or give them any kind of advice I knew it I knew right from the start if I wanted to win I had to carry and this is because uh, we have uh, very bad teammates 
all of them are like uh, 45 percenters so I knew that uh, I had my my work cut out for me oh thank goodness the artillery took him out so I can use my shells trying to uh, weaken this heavy tank at this point I've already racked up uh, three kills and it is a 5v3 situation although we do have two tier sixes the Hellcat and me uh, I'm speeding this up three times speed and uh, what I'm doing is driving around and uh, try to as you can see the, they've started capping so what I need to do is try to go around the ELC and uh, kill that uh, capper I've been spotted by that ELC I know where he is and one of the heavy tanks have been killed however the ELC has taken this opportunity to engage our Hellcat he took a hit, big hit for it but uh, he manages to finish off the Hellcat while I try to sneak around and uh, finish off this KV-220 who's sitting in the cap circle so I pan my first shot and the second is absorbed, the third bounces or absorbed and I make sure I aim the, th the final shot and uh, try to get his uh, front plate by this point I have already raked up four kills there are three more left on the team and I'm driving around kind of aimlessly right now I'm speeding up to two times but at this point I decide that I'm gonna make my way around the map and try to take out the artillery first because I do have an idea where the uh, ELC is and I know that he's probably gonna be waiting for me to show up uh, searching for him from the north side and his artillery is going to be waiting for me as well so what I decided to do is drive around the entire map and go to the last known position of the artillery which is around southeast if he's not there then I'm gonna drive behind the cap and make my way to the castle on the west side and start searching for them there now the reason why I'm doing this is because the the STRV is a medium tank therefore it is not uh, extremely slow like a heavy tank it has a forward speed of 45 kilometers an hour significantly lower than a, a Cromwell or a Cromwell B but fast enough for you to be able to use some of its mobility like in this situation I do have the time to drive around and search I do not have to uh, limit myself to a particular side of the map I, I do have the luxury of uh, driving around using the mobility and uh, try to search for these guys so I make my way around to the castle and uh, it is somewhere around here is when I realized that our artillery the M44 has spotted one of their artillery who has uh, decided to there you go he's decided to rush our artillery so I tried to go for that shot but uh, I don't have a shot there are houses in the way but the ELC has popped up so I'll try to take him out as quick as I can I as you can see the bloom is not ready so taking a shot wasn't a very good idea the bloom is similar to a Cromwell or a Cromwell B if you're used to firing that kind of um, gun the Cromwell has a 0.35 uh, accuracy and the STRV has a 0.33 very similar the dispersion on the move is similar to the Cromwell as well it's a 0.24 and uh, also the same when you're traversing 0.24 So now I am going directly to the ELC thinking that he is still there I'm trying to hunt him down uh, before he can get away but looks like he's not on this side of the ridge oops but I did manage to catch this guy trying to cap 
I guess he was trying to cap to lure me out and there you go that's where I noticed that the uh, ELC has popped up on my radar and he is up north behind the bush I know exactly where they are I reload my drum and what I'm gonna do right now is uh, go straight for them I don't have enough time the two minute marker is up I need to start making my way there and uh, killing them but what I'm doing right now is driving around the hill and I'm gonna use these bushes and those houses to keep those in between me while I close the distance I do have six cents on my crew which means if I'm spotted I would know it and uh, as I approach I am not spotted I try to make sure not to knock down anything on my way there miss all the trees and fences okay one of them has started capping it's either the ELC or the M44 that has started capping so I know one of them is on cap I just need to get in here and kill whoever's in here and then make my way to the cap I'm spotted so someone's in here yep it's the ELC I don't understand why he didn't try to take a shot at me just then maybe he panicked but uh, well RIP now I just need to take out the last guy and he could have had a shot at me here I don't know why he didn't shoot maybe he doesn't have the um, capability to spot me I don't know I missed my first shot there again horrible blue but right now I'm close enough to shoot and take him out completely and GG game over here's a quick look at the results that was an excellent game for me I got uh, 9999 WN8 and uh, on top of that I also did over 2500 damage 1200 um, base XP I uh, didn't make any credits because I fired a whole lot of APC out there. As I have mentioned earlier, this tank has been really good to me. I have played over 40 games in it with a 63% win rate and over 960 um, XP and 1200 average damage. And it gets even better in skirmishes. I've played about 700 games with 80% win rate and... Um, with the amount of strongholds battles that I participate in, over 700 already, I'm able to train two sets of crew. Uh, both sets have, um, they're on their third skill already, and it's worked out really well for, uh, for me. I can't recommend it enough. This is an excellent tank if you want to pick up a great uh, crew trainer for your Swedish line in anticipation of the new uh, Swedish tank release. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, see you on the battlefield. Bye!